Welcome to Info Flash. Say, did y'all lose power yesterday too? Yeah, when the lights went out there, I was cooking dinner. Oh, Not in a while. Specific. Time for a break. A Fuck! Oh, of course you're here! I fooled you. You leave me no choice. I managed to. Oda, is he dead? He's breathing. For now. Please be. Yeah. Show him mercy. There should be nothing standing in your way. Now, we press forward. Okay, Prem. Online and in the system. Hanako's inside. What is she doing? Trying to call someone, I think. Try to listen. Not Do yet. not forget to disarm the alarms. I must be able to enter. あなたの。<笑>俺たちだ。私が Goro, all systems jammed. It's now or never. Otosama. Remember to take only certified firearm enhancement supplements. Some parts of the brain are overloaded. Otosama. Anata. Oyoshio. Don't talk. Hanashi. Dake demo. Okiki. Kudasai. Saburo. Sama. Wa. Shichi no koto o kuchi ni shinai. Kore ga ore ni dekiru saigo no gohoshi na no desu. Shit, shit, shit. He shot him. Well, now we're really fucked. Knew we couldn't trust him. What happened to keeping him on his leash? We best dealt to the fuck out of you. Yeah, for now. Lost your fucking mind. There's no time to explain. We must meet. Where are you? An abandoned apartment block on Vine Street. Second floor, number 303. Knock four times. Hurry. I look okay to you? We're about to go live. Three, two, one. This is Jillian Jordan of N54 News coming to you live from Japantown, where a commemorative
Okay, come inside, quick. I feared they had caught you. Right about now, Hanako is the most famous missing person in the world. I am aware. So every Arasaka soldier is on our trail. You're right. Let us not waste any time. Are you mad? Wait! I was there that night at Kampeki Plaza. I saw Saburo Arasaka die. He wasn't poisoned. That's a lie your brother made up and spread. Yorinobu is the murderer. You must be mad to think I will listen to such nonsense. Thing is, I'm damn determined and got nothing to lose. I got your prototype relic jammed in my head. By free coincidence, it stopped. Then helped me survive. A bullet. And now, it's slowly killing me. One of your personality engrams is overriding itself onto my psyche. And if I don't find a way to stop it, well, it won't end well for me. Hanako-sama, V is living proof of the terrible crime your brother committed. We can confirm every word he speaks, if only you will help him with the relic. Hanako-sama. Did you hear that? Go and check. I got a bad feeling about this. Get the fuck out of here! Takamura! Can't leave him back there. Forget him, guy's toast. Unless you want to wind up like him. Keep low on I-360. They're in the hallway. Don't you fucking dare float off. Not now. Come on, gotta get the fuck out of the city. Think they make these motels especially for royal fuck-ups like us? AC's busted, dirty needles under the mattress, shitters clogged. No, for real. Who fucking comes here to sleep? We're a couple miles outside Night City. Someone leaving town just keeps driving. Somebody going there sleeps in the damn city. What good's a motel in the middle of nowhere? I'll tell you who sleeps here. Fucking losers. Johnny? Yeah? Shut your gonk mouth, please. Sane random shit ain't gonna help anyone. How the tables have turned. Johnny, for crying now out. Now we're the ones sitting around waiting for Sokka assault squads to storm in. Anyone knocked, blast the fucking door. No warning. 
Not keen on us ending up like Takamura. Hear that? Car. At this hour, in this place? Fuck. Just one? Finger on the trick, V. For v. Don't touch that door. Who's there? I said, who's there? Oh, want the whole motel to hear, or will you let me in? I'm armed. Don't try anything. Finally. Ugh. That on the wall, is that blood? Yeah. Knock the last star off this dump. So, you were saying, got a message? Sitting right here. Oh, it'll start soon. What'll start? It's a doll. Or a proxy. <clears throat> I must make one thing clear. I still think you are mad, but... Hanako. That you? But I can fool myself no longer. I believe you. How'd you find me? Did you really think it would be enough to leave the city? Takamura mentioned he had placed a tracker on you. Yet even had he not, when Arasaka wishes to find someone, it finds them. Porcelain bitch. Damn shame you didn't believe me earlier. Goro might have still been alive, had you? If you invoke his name, remember he did everything for this conversation to happen. That demands respect. Fine. Yorinobu planted a tanto in the corporation's very heart. I must act while the wound is fresh. And you will help me. You are living proof of his crime and treason. You're gonna help me first. Perhaps I did not speak clearly. We must act quickly. Well, I'm pretty tight on time, too. Dying, in fact. My dead body would make for a pretty lame-ass witness. I understand. Want to know everything you know about Mikoshi? Mikoshi? One of my father's flagship projects. A data fortress with servers situated on orbital stations all around Earth. Think of it as an archive of personality constructs, digitized psyches. Try a prison. A matter of perspective. In any case, that is not where you will find salvation. Not without extensive knowledge of the relic and the construct creation procedure. Managed to make contact with Alt Cunningham. The Cunningham? The very same who invented Soul Killer. Using her modified version now. That should be more than useful. Track down your runaway. Hellman was hiding under Kang Tao's wing. We chatted. Think sooner or later the engram will completely consume me. Process can't be stopped. A surprisingly deterministic conclusion for a man of science. At the very least, I got my hands on the relic schematics. Got detailed information about its inner workings. Project tech documentation. All useful. Even more so, given that Hellman is still alive. I will contact him and explain that one does not leave Arasaka by the back door. That's about the extent of what we've got. What now? Let us meet in person, at Embers, in the city center. It is discreet. Just remember one thing. From now on, we both must exercise extreme caution. Well, 
That's my job done. Know what? What? I think I'd have rather had a wave of Sokka leads marching here. Right. Because at least we've dealt with Sokka henchmen before. But this... It's something new. Glad to see you get it. We've just landed on very thin ice. Crash landed. What's up? Got a few more words about the porcelain cunt? Fuck! <coughs> Shit. Get ready. Fuck. Oh. Ah. Johnny. You ain't dying yet. I got you. Johnny. That smells the sea breeze. Get up. Pacific's beautiful this time of day. <sighs> Almost flatlined by that attack. Almost. You're right. Hard to take my eyes off it. We in uh, Pacifica? What's this building? Old hotel, the Pistis Sophia. We're her sole guests right now. Wanted to show you something. Come on. Why, why bring me here, of all places? Give me a minute. You'll see. You took over. Couldn't just leave you there, could I? Thanks for helping. What are imaginary friends for? I think I'm not long for this world. Yeah, looking that way. Climb through the window. Can manage that, I think. You wanted to know why I brought you here. There's a hidey hole where I'm standing. Open it. Empty it. yours they were belong to you now huh? huh 50 years back Mexican conflict when I was a young piss brain like you I enlisted with a corp army was in Mexico when I realized that no matter the conflict corpse always win ordinary people always lose so that the truth you decided to reveal in song well, deserted first. Wound up here, locked in this room. Laid in bed, staring at the ceiling fan for a good month. <laughs> I wouldn't mind lying down right now. Watching a fan till the end of time. It's why I brought you here. Wasting days, weeks. That's the step I want you to skip. Why are you giving me these? Imagine we're deployed together, fighting in a war, side by side. Would you take a bullet for me? I would. Yeah. Tags belong to a man who sacrificed his life for mine in Mexico. Been thinking about our... 
predicament. Want to be clear, I will do you no wrong. When the time comes, it'll be my life for yours. I'll agree to get white. Tags are proof of my promise. I... I do the same for you. Yeah. Thanks. You seriously considering Hanako's offer? Got a better idea? Not yet, but I got a request. Well? Adam Smasher. Fucker who got the better of me. Whatever happens to me, I want him zero, gone, tossed into the wind as mulch. Right. Understood. And I want Rogue to be there with you. It's important to me, and it's just as important for her. So, I gotta tell Rogue... everything? Think I'd better do that. Handle it personally. You'll drop the pills from Misty, and I'll steer the ship for a bit. I'm not at all excited about this plan. Realize that, right? Just gonna have a quick chat with Rogue about Smasher. Then I'm out, I promise. Need to know exactly what you plan to do. I'll tell Rogue the truth, see if she's willing to help. Hey, Satan kicked me out of hell, thought I'd swing by. All I gotta do is mention Smasher, serve him up on a platter. Muse over the old days. Easy. Fine. I'll do this. For you. Appreciate it, thanks. Take me to the afterlife. Promise, you won't regret this. Feeling better. Should get going. Still feel a sharp something near your heart. Doubt that's ever going away. Ugh. The hotel pissed to Sophia. That right? Mm-hmm. Good place to die. Just not today. V, it's good you're here. What happened? Spit it out. The Wraiths took Sol. The Brick Brain ventured out with a small patrol and never came back. Sure it was Wraiths? We've been observing their camp. We know they're holding prisoners, including someone important. We need to free Sol. I don't know why, but I felt I could count on you. Belonged to a nomad family too once. City doesn't change us all that much, I guess. That's hard to deny. Whatever goodwill you might feel, I'm sure you won't turn down one of the best sniper rifles on the West Coast. A Tektronica Grad. You saw it in action already. That and the gratitude of the Caldos. Sounds fancy. Once you have it in hand, fancy all of a sudden becomes kick-ass. Let's go. Mitch will walk you through the details.
Well, I'll be. Pan Am and V, what's going on there? Him? After what happened to Scorpion, he shows up here? Guess probably for Saul. Ignore that. Hey, Pan Am, seriously? You really aim to do this? Someone has to. You know you have a piston missing, right? Someone has to. Where's Mitch? He was supposed to meet me here. He'll be here any minute. Huh. You never mentioned seeking outside help. We can use all the help we can get. Is there a problem? Just that if we're looking outside, we must be a hot mess inside. That's why we'll go in quiet. A frontal assault would be suicide. Mitch is already setting up recon. V will sneak into the Wraith's camp while I'll be his guardian rifle. Going in quiet. Two's all you need. It's not that I don't want to go to serve some raffins up some justice. It's just... Look around! The last attacks left barely half of us standing. Our supplies are stuck outside goddamn Reno, and our gear... Don't get me started. We're up shit creek, static. And I don't know if we're ever gonna find or fashion a paddle. Try as we Your might. Your leader gets nabbed, and you, what, hope for the best? Rather than I think about what you do for the ones at the bottom of your food chain. You're asking for trouble. Leave it! He has a right not to understand. There's Mitch. I floated a drone over the Wraith's camp. Will you take a look, or would you rather keep mouthing off? Let's see what we got here. The Raffins can't see it. Active camo, but that practically inhales battery juice, so make it quick. They found an abandoned cement plant to squat in, with a mass of heavy gear. Locusts would be a better name for them. They fly into a place, strip it of all it's got, then move on. But this time... Do you see the wall? They've added some primitive security measures. It points to them aiming to stay longer. The question is why. Who knows for sure, but I would guess that Saul is part of the reason. If he's still there, we have to find a way inside. That guard post is probably connected to the rest of the camp. Our way in. Maybe, but there are also breaches in the wall. Lightly guarded sections. Do you see the tracks? Tire tracks. Their vehicles were moving heavy freight. It could have been equipment. Either that or Saul's not their only prisoner. The tracks lead to the truck. Can you scan it? That's probably the one they kept Saul in. The main building, there. Saul must be inside. Quite a spread. I feel like looking for a diamond in a hailstorm. If they haven't scrapped and gutted the place for parts, you could access the local camnet. You would just need to find the control room. Skywalk. It connects the garage to the main structure. Okay, got some stuff to work with now. Is everything clear? Yep. Let's go get Saul. Perfect. Mitch, is the van primed? I did what I could. Take a tour. Job. I mostly improvised, actually. Either way, it'll have to do. Hold on a minute, I got one more thing. If you find Saul hasn't flatlined, you'll probably need this. Spike Superjet. A rhino dose. It should speed up Saul's central pump. Hope so. 
Doubt I could carry him out of my back. So that should be everything. V, will you ride with me? Yeah, of course I'm going with you. Okay, you take the wheel. One me driving. Yep, I need to fiddle with my scope a bit. For a spin, if you like. let himself get captured. Anyone else? But Saul? Said yourself he's not at the top of his form. Yes, but moving civilians across the border during a bombardment? Hijacking a petrochem tanker? Opening the valves? Cranking a few figure eights to set the desert ablaze and give the kids a fun show? That's the Saul I remember. All that are idols. I know. It's just... one hell of a storm looking bad oh it's bad and more than its look we have to move quickly okay let we need to hide the car park beside that outcrop okay out i'll find a place to roost and keep you in sight you just watch yourself down there I think I found a sneaky way to slip in. Perfect. These brutes will never be the wiser. Right. Think I got eyes on him. Is he? Breathing? I think so. Good. Grab him and get out of there. Saul. Do, do, do you have my goddamn cigar? Easy, Saul. I'm here with Pan Am. Pan Am? But she left. Not forever. Gonna get you out. You. I remember. You're that merc. Come on. Family's waiting. Uh. So, oh, how yeah. is it? Time to don my dancing shoes. He'll live. Now get yourselves out of there. On our way out now. I'm firing up the engine. I'll be right there. You. Got by the posted guards. Mm -hmm. And if we can be just as sly together, I get out without firing a shot. Exactly. There should be a quick exit out of the cellar. Yeah. 
That storm is picking up steam. Good. It'll cover our tracks. Anyway, we have good reason not to head straight back to camp. There's no need to play it safe. We'll just burn time. Better late and safe than dead. You see those buildings? We'll wait it out there. I remember this place. It should be safe, at least for now. Inside, quick! I need to catch my breath. Just in time for dinner. Not hungry. I just swallowed a pound of sand. Looks like we're in for the night. A little power might be useful. Could you help me look, V? I'll search in here. Tried to get us some heat in here, but no luck. Can you check it? Might have the magic touch. Actually, you know what? Check the fuse outside. It might have come loose. If so, just whack it back in place and I'll get this junk burning. Anything else? Your Excellency? Huh. I'll need to think about it. Though it'll be the end of our friendship if Saul freezes to death. See what I see? Expiration date's from before the last war, so hopefully it hasn't turned to poison. Today's our lucky day. Lucky? Interesting choice of words. Do I hear a lecture coming on? No. No lecture. But we do need to talk. That Wraith's crap. It shouldn't have happened. They wanted everything. Our camp locations, routes, offloading points. If they knew what state we're in, one or two more raids and that'd be the end of us. And if you had mounted a raid of your own, well, that would have been the end of me. <sighs> it's not the time for this. You're both exhausted. Maybe you're right. We can't hope to handle the Raffins alone. So you would sell us out to Biotechnica? V, tell him it's a damn rotten idea. We gotta agree with Pan Am. Sounds like a truly shitty idea. Thanks. What could you possibly know about it? Remember the backers? I'm a bit hazy. Exactly. Joined up with the Snake Nation, then poof. Evaporated. Aldecaldo's strength has always been their independence. Give that up, my clan's fate will be yours. Or worse. Because Biotechnica just ain't Snake Nation. Thank you, V. I could not have said it better. We've had our spats. A few. Like any family. They're not worth digging up. I think so, too. If you'd like to come back, everyone will be waiting. Arms open wide. But there will have to be changes. No more jumping to the front of the line. And so it begins. You know what, sweetheart? We'll have plenty of time to tear at each other's throats later. That is my hope. But right now, I wouldn't mind catching a few winks. Need help? Fuck off. Huh. Do you know what they call these storms in North Africa? Haboobs. 
Damn, I love that word. Whoa, what was that about? Probably the meds talking. I sure hope so. I think he took a few solid hits to his skull. <laughs> Funny. What is? I rarely sleep with a roof overhead, yet this will be the second time with you. When you're on the road, day into night into day, your butt basically fusing with your seat. You forget what it's like. Tell me about it. I'm still not used to it. All right. Yeah, this would make for a decent little motel, wouldn't it? Little fireplace, booze. Grumpy guy at reception is the one thing missing. Have everything you need, ma'am. Mm-hmm. I couldn't ask for more. Ma'am, I'm sure you'd be cozier with your shoes off. <laughs> After a full day in them, I'd fear a health code violation. Nonsense. After a day as full as today, you deserve to kick back. Oh? And what did you have in mind? I've got a few ideas. Think you know what kind? Uh... <clears throat> the... No. It's really nice as is. Let's not spoil it, okay? I... I I'm, I'm sorry. Didn't know what I was thinking. Oh, it's fine. Truly. Don't let it worry you. Right. So, friends, then. B, I'm glad you came. Really. Thanks. It meant a lot to me. Ooh. Do you hear that? No. Mm -hmm. The wind has waned. I can't speak for her boobs, but... When a Chinook rolls rough and rowdy across the plain, I sure can't get any shut eye. Not a wink. On behalf of the staff of the Independent California Motel, I wish you all sweet dreams. Sleep all right? Good work, V. Oh, you got to agree now. Next time I choose the motel. <laughs> if there is such a time. Well, I slept like a puppy. That's a cozy shoulder you have there. <sighs> it's too bad I better get rolling in a minute. You need to stay. I think you can see that. Not one of them will admit it, but damn, do they need you. Of course they do. Come on. Last night, when we were talking to Saul, thanks for standing up for me. Though, one thing, the wraiths, the raid, it's the start of something we need to prepare for. Saul will get everything set up in camp. Whereas I... Whereas you... The Raffins wanted to know our roots, right? Well, it's the Alde Caldo's turn. Some recon is in order. One more thing. Your compensation. Please take care of her. She served me well. Putting her in good hands, Pan Am. I know. So, uh, thank you. Once again. Oh, uh, hold up. About last night... We don't need to talk about that. I'm just... not... like that. So what are you like? More like... this.
Take care of yourself. You too, Pan Am. And remember, I'm indebted. Circumstances were different, I'd say saddle up and ride after her. But here and now, just look. Damn hard to catch a girl like that. Only hope you've got is they feel a pang and stop to wait. What's with you? Dunno, a memory, maybe. Don't matter. Okay, back to town, V. Headed up to here with this gusty outback. Better start heading out. Yeah, same goes for us. Only once the radiator gets a breather. Thanks, V. What you did for me, I'll never forget it. 